ladies and gentlemen. As you all are aware, we halted our campaign for yesterday, having survived death uh, after our car was shot through all the tires and through the windscreen. We decided to come and face the Electoral Commission and put it straight to them. Not that we expected uh, an immediate solution, and just like we've communicated it to the Electoral Commission chairperson, that we have not been assisted. When we were blocked from the consultation, there was no COVID-19. We were not assisted. When I was uh, roughly arrested on the 3rd of November, the day of nomination, it was not about the SOPs. And yes, all that has been ongoing <coughs> is not about the SOPs. So we came to face the Electoral Commission, one, because the Electoral Commission has been silent. They've been silent ever since we were brutally arrested from the nomination ground. The Electoral Commission has been silent since the murder of more than 100 innocent citizens of Uganda. The Electoral Commission was silent even when five people were murdered in Nachifuma by police trucks running over them. So we came to go on record. We came because we know that the Electoral Commission is responsible for this election. And yes, we put it to them. Um, among the issues we raised, it was a question whether or not the Electoral Commission is in charge. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is the military blocking us, uh, brutalizing people and closing people's businesses. As you can see, these are the people that are being shot dead by the police and the military and some goons that move around with guns but in plain clothes. As you can see, these are the scenes of our campaign meetings uh, mild with violence, tear gas and live bullets from the military and the police. We also raised the issue of DPCs and RPCs and other government officials that constantly block us from using public facilities like hotels. As you all are aware that in Mijera we had to sleep on the road because the DPC, the one patient, Namara, said that we did not qualify to sleep in hotels. We put these pictures to them. This was one of the scenes where the police and military hurt this lady, as you can see. Um, yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, this is the picture of the car where I was. This car was shot in all tires by the military and the police. As you can see, this is what our people go through on the campaign trail. This continues to be the scene of our campaigns. We also reported to the Electoral Commission that um, the head of my security, the security that was given to us by the Electoral Commission, was shot at by fellow police officers. And we believe that they were targeting me because the two closest people to me who is Officer Kato, was the head of my security, and uh, one of my assistants, a producer, Dan Magic, also was shot with a tear gas canister, and his face was split. He even lost his teeth. We put this to the Electoral Commission because we wanted them to be aware of the constant murders of innocent Ugandans. This is a scene from yesterday. This gentleman is called Officer Kato, and is the head of the security that was given to me by the Electoral Commission. He was trying to save my life, and he ended up short like that. This is a scene of our campaign in Mokono. These are the scenes of our campaign. As I was telling you yesterday, we narrowly survived death because the military shot live bullets. This is a bullet hole in my car after the tire was removed. The people that are trailing us are dressed like this. This is one of the people that was shot and killed. 
by the police and the military. These continue to be the sins of our campaign, but the Electoral Commission has continuously been silent about it. This and more are the pieces of evidence we brought to put to Mr. Biabakama. These are the sins of our campaigns, ladies and gentlemen. As you might be aware, when we were in Northern Uganda, my Deputy President, uh, Dr. Lina Zedriga Waru, was arrested and detained in a congested prison, in, in a congested police cell together with men. And this is the image. For a long time, Honorable Zake and other leaders have been complaining about the police detaining men and women in the same cells. This is the evidence. And yes, these are the scenes. You can see the war weapons that are being deployed by the military against unarmed citizens, and their crime is supporting Chagulani. Like I told you yesterday, we narrowly survived death. My driver is still traumatized. This is a bullet hole that went through the windscreen of the car in which I, the Honorable Zake, and other leaders were seated in Jinja. This was yesterday. This is a scene in Mbali. This you see here is my car, where a one officer called Asimwe Abraham, also known as Bravo by his fellow soldiers, deliberately threw a tear gas canister inside my car. This one is my car, and here I was inside. This is, this is a scene from yesterday. This is my music producer called Dan Magic, and this is exactly what they did to him while he was trying to save me from the same. This was in Iganga. As I've always uh, mentioned to you, ladies and gentlemen, that we are constantly blocked from using the main roads by the police and the military. We are always forced to use the dusty and feeder roads. But even in those feeder roads, I want you to see this is the Uganda People's Defense Forces taking position to fire live bullets at unarmed civilians simply because they stand on the roadside to wave to me. These are the weapons that are deployed against us. This is one of the campaign scenes. This is where we're supposed to have our campaign meeting. This is one of the many scenes of our campaign trail. And yes, this is also a campaign scene on our trail. This is yet another picture from yesterday where we narrowly survived death at the hands of the UPDF and the Uganda police. This was also supposed to be a campaign meeting, one of the very many that are disrupted by the police and the military. People scamper around for safety amidst a hell of tear gas. As you are aware, people stand by the roadside to wave to us, but this is how we are followed by tear gas and live bullets by the police and military just for having supporters by the roadside. This is one of the many scenes. And yes, this is my car filled in tear gas. This is yesterday. That is a bullet hole in the windscreen of the car where I was seated. I've been saying, ladies and gentlemen, that we are being trailed by men in plain clothes but having guns. In many cases, these people with no police or military uniform but having guns are actually the ones giving orders to the DPCs and RPCs. This is one of the pictures taken by an by unanide, unidentified person holding a gun and trailing me. This is what our campaign looks like. 
this picture was taken when we were trying to access uh, Hoima and Masindi. The police blocked the road and claimed the road was under construction. The same road that had brought us from Hoima, all of a sudden, in a few minutes, had become a road under construction, and therefore we could not use it. That is why we ended up spending the night on the road. In this picture, one of our comrades called Den City, whose duty is to raise the national flag high, was being beaten by the police, but we salute him for not dropping the flag of Uganda. This is one of the scenes where the police was brutalizing one of our supporters, and the crime was supporting us. This is a continuation of the same. I've already shown you this picture of the military taking cover to shoot and kill unarmed civilians. This is yet another scene. I was inside that car. And yes, that is the outside of that car. This is the inside, and that is a tear gas canister dropped in my car by a police officer called Asimwe Abraham, also known as Bravo in Imbale. This is what it's like when we say the military has taken over this election. This is a continuation of the same. I've already shown you this picture of Dr. Lina Zedriga detained with men in the same overcrowded cell. I've already shown you this. There are quite many pictures that we can show you, ladies and gentlemen. Pictures showing brutality, pictures showing the police shooting at us, pictures showing us filled in tear gas, pictures showing the military taking over and brutalizing people, shooting to kill unarmed civilians. It is many, many, many pieces of evidence that we can show you, ladies and gentlemen. The reason why we came to the Electoral Commission is not that we know that they are going to do anything, but because we wanted to go on record. We wanted to tell the Electoral Commission that the police and the military are trying to kill us. They are trying to harm us, and we want the entire nation and the entire world to know what is happening. We have communicated to the chairperson of the Electoral Commission. Initially, when I spoke to uh, the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Mr. Biawakama, on the 4th of November, he told me that he's not on social media. Therefore, he was not aware that I was brutally arrested on the day of nomination. And yes, he has many times commented that he's not aware of what is going on. That is why we came to tell him face to face. The Electoral Commission promised us that they will address these issues to the relevant offices. But we wanted to go on record that we have reported to the Electoral Commission. We have tasked them to take charge or resign. We have told them that we know that they are supposed to be in charge of this election. We've asked them to prevail over the police and the military, to tell them to keep out of this election, especially the military. We have asked them to ask the police to stop blocking the roads for us. We've asked them to ask the police to stop determining our uh, campaign venues because that is not their mandate. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we also wanted to put it to you. We want to announce that tomorrow we will repeat, we will return to the campaign trail. We are actually setting off this evening to our next destination. We are beginning with Namutumba. For areas where we've not come, we are going to reschedule and ensure that we reach everywhere. We thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for God and our country. Uh, but 
abama je nebaja semipira juna ate nebaji kumana masasi mundabiru wamu tuwaonede watono nyo okufa era tuweba za katonda mpozi ne driver wafe ya bada tufuga pako lualiru achata wanyizi duamu uluva nyuma luo kusumatuka okutiwa abasirikale lualiru tuze okutukiri akache kokwe vyo kulonda tuwagambe direct maso kumaso Siru kubanga tusubira okutuwa echo kuda mwesa wazino. Ngawe tubade tubateke zanga. Ndiyo kubira dala mu programu ya fe ya consultation obo kwebu za kubalonzi. Akachiko kebi okulonda. Tekaso bula kutuyamba. Luliba alibu kwa sanga public order management act. Katibu kwa sa COVID-19 ne SOPs. Tutekeze za muami vya bakama. Nti orunaku lwa nomination obo kwe wandisa. Na kwa tibuwa neba nange vanji nyo. Mkuru jowe rusenyo nyi, unakulu aliru achata ambuli ya kumigo, ulu uluvanyi maru vune, uluwa mtu usi wako, neba na fevanji nyo, unakulu nomination. Chanaku, kia kachiku kwekevyo kulonda, tekava ayo kubako chiko gira. Nkera anga nya, nafuno mkisa, nenjo gira ko, ne muami vya waka ma, achikirira, akulira, akachiku kwekevyo kulonda. Yante gezanti, yeta liku social media, era, yalita tegede, Tibali wa tusi zako obulabe obwe ngeri wecho. Na emu mbera yemu, ngabu mmanyi mwena, haba na Uganda, haba suka mchikumi, bate murua. Ngabate murua polisi, bate murua maje, bate murua nabu, habari, ngatebali mwenye uniform wade ya polisi wa maje, na inga baku temundu. Enaku, sato ezise, haba na Uganda, haba tanu, bati dua, mbitundu vya nachifuma, ngabato merua emoto kaza polisi na maje, Niziba itako. Echena ku, jine ambulance. Ewa mwami seru Kenya. Ewa badeja eronda londa abo. Aba chalimu akalamu. Na yo emotu kaza polisi. Zeichi semo kubo. Nizijire mesa. Okutuka mduwa lido. Elaba anji. Babli dinze. Bato nyoro kuso msai. Paka luwafude. Tuze okutege za mwami vya bakama. Kumiyo nabiyo na ibibade vigena maso. Okutulugu nyizibwa okubade kugena maso. Ama kubo okusibwa nebatule mesa. Okutu ukaje tuino okutu ukamobude. Ne okutu gana, okugira mba antube tuwa tu igenzi okugira na mbo. Ne wankubade nga program weyo, ebade momateka, elanga na kachu kokebi okulonda, kajimanyi. Tuze wano kubanga tuagala okugenda kurikodi. Tuze wano kubanga tuko verila mateka. Tuze wano kubanga tumanyinti akachu kokebi okulonda, kekavo nanyizi wako kulonda kuno. Na ye, ngera we mze mchiraba, kibade cheyure kalunye, kalu nti amaje ne polisi, Bia wamba, emitende la jokulonda jino. Tuze okubitegeza mwami vya baka ma mbutongole. Era tufunyo mkisa, netubi mutegeza. Tusabie akacheko kebi okulonda. Kaveyo ke pronouncing. Kategeze polisi, ntite inabu inza kulonda kuno, wabula akacheko kebi okulonda. Tusabie akacheko kebi okulonda, kategeza maje, titega ina chifo mwusonga za kulonda zino. Tuze tusabe akachiko kwebio kulonda, kademo kachika atirize, tipolisi teina buyinza, kutuga na kuogera na bantu, betu ina kuogera na bo. Era, bitu vitegeza akachiko kwebio kulonda, batu suviza, jensonga zeno bagenda ziko lako, era tulindiride, okulira edobozi eriva jevali. Tuwaga lupa tegeza bana Uganda bana fe, nti, tudamo kampeni za fe, encha, in fact, tu simbola lualero, okuda yoku trail, tuta andikira na mutumba, Ebitundu bie watu lemesezo kutuka mu, tuwa suviza, tutuke na kwa adija singa, tutuke na kutere kuchu usamu mprogramu ya fe, tulabe, nga tuwa tuka ko, tuogere na mwe, tuwa sabaka lulu, ketuma nyinti muina, era mugenda katua. Tuwa galo beba za mwena, basebo nebanyabu, tuwa galo kusasira, bana Uganda, tuwa galo kusasira, bana Uganda, bona, naba habi nganda za habi, haba tidua. Pozi nechirala, tutegeze za electro commission, Che kubira, haba dala vika kuruda lwa hawe, neo kusingira dala che kubira, aliwo kuruda ulwa polisi. Maimu sebe ni muamu labi, uluna kuruwa jo, nga ayugira na inku yanja ya bantu, nga tewali iche baita social distance, wabaze baita SOPs, na inga haba dala kumwa maje. Na haba antu bebe njini, haba wagi zibe, na haba lalabo, na haba nangami mmanyinti mateka, akole chintu kururo, haba chikoze kururo, ila haba chikole degwe, nolo nisonge yogobo chikoze. Na hebo wa kumwa maje. I'll say that in English. We even raised the issue of double standards by the police in, in regards to the uh, enforcement of the so-called SOPs. 
we are being brutalized, our people are being killed, while Mr. Museveni goes ahead to address people, to meet people, and his supporters are gathering, but they are gathering in protection, under the protection of the army and uh, the police. So we raise that to the Electoral Commission, and they promise to address it. Whether or not they, uh, whether they address it or not, we are heading out and continuing with our campaign. We continue to make to uh, inform it. Tuongera maso okutege zaba na Uganda wa nafe. Abali nafe kumikutu jinejenja ulo, nabali eweruwe guanga. Tubula mubwa fe, buli mumatiga. Echo tuchika ambiene akuri ya kachiko kebio kulonda. Dike kavu na njizi wa kubula mubwa fe. Nyo bula mubwa fe, buli matiga. Atenga bageze zako okuja obula mubwa fe. Je polisi na maje. Tutegeza muami biaba kama. Nti amateka gamo la gira. Nti yaba adukanya ensonga zebio kulonda. Elabwe ba ensonga zebio kulonda angazimu lenye are kulire. Mwebale nyo, mwebale vedala kuwa katona nesi ya fe. Just one more thing. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Sir